Now apart from this lovely sphagnum moss which is on the ground beside where I left this lovely piece of antiquity I found this tree with all this bark around the base and looking up into the tree I've noticed the bark been coming off and been coming off by some sort of animal I would say as I look up and around look up and around particularly over this side the branch the trunk of the tree here has been ripped bare you can see some of the sap coming through now if whatever animal has done this had got right around there it would have killed the tree what we might call ring barking because trees need that layer between the bark and the wood for the sap the lifeblood of the tree to go through now if we go up just a little bit higher I think I've found why it's all like that branches come off and there's a hole there and that's about where the bark stops coming off there so I would be guessing don't know for sure I'd be guessing an animal of some sort lives in that hole. What's your guess? I'm tipping possum, but I guess we'll never know unless we put up a surveillance camera. <laughs> There's quite a lot of fairly fresh bark at the bottom of this tree. Um, fresh bark and some fresh or some woody chip bits as well so whatever's doing it is either doing it off in in the case of scrambling up or pulling it off for food I guess that's the other alternative you can see this part of the tree is quite roughed up through there I don't think it's a koala drop bear maybe goanna Bunyip? Who knows? Nice big tree though. This goes on and on. We're also noticing bits of that bark floating around in other places too. So I'm wondering if it's either being carried away or dropped from the higher branches of the tree too. Maybe that animal has gone higher and started pulling off some bark from up there too. Don't know, but Detective Bruce always gets his animal. So I'm going to climb up this tree. No, I'm not. I'm not going to climb up the tree to find what's in there, but uh, I would love to know. Mm -hmm.